Welcome to Lexio Divina Reflections, Monday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. From the close of today's Gospel reading, Luke relates how Jesus is driven out of town by the people in the synagogue. What did he do to receive this treatment? At the beginning of the passage, minutes before this, Jesus reads from the prophet Isaiah the words, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And to people amazed at his gracious words, he says, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing, thus revealing himself as the Messiah. But the people of Nazareth are unable to accept Jesus' claims and become hostile toward him. They reject him, skeptical that the son of Joseph could not possibly be the Messiah. How does this relate to those of us who live among family or within tight-knit communities? God, help me understand today's gospel in relation to my own experiences among the people whose lives I touch. I sometimes feel trapped in the skeptical milieu of modern communication, social media, instant access to communication, layer upon layer of interpretations of events. Help me recognize that despite living in this age, the world is yours and all that is in it, and that truth is not a philosophy or dictum or creed, but a person, Jesus Christ, your son. Your kingdom is present and it is to come. When I am met with hostility because of my faith in the church, Help me remember the words that Jesus read from Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. From the Responsorial Psalm, Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.